In this video, we talk about a big step taken by Sheikha Thani, who is Sheikh Hamdan's first wife. Their relationship was going through a tough time, and they weren't talking much. Sheikha Thani decided to do something big about it. She went straight to Sheikh Muhammad, Sheikh Hamdan's dad, to tell him everything. This was a really brave thing for her to do. She didn't just go to complain. She wanted to explain all the problems she was facing with Sheikh Hamdan. She told Sheikh Muhammad everything about their relationship, not leaving out any details. What Sheikh Athani did was important. It changed how people saw what was happening in their marriage. In this video, we'll look at why she did this, what it meant, and what happened after she talked to Sheikh Muhammad. This is a big deal in royal families, where private stuff usually stays private. Now, let's talk about something really interesting that happened with Sheikh Hamdan. He had a secret meeting with Hadiyah Zen, who is said to be his second wife. This meeting happened in a really special place, the deserts of Uzbekistan. It's a surprising twist in Sheikh Hamdan's story. Sheikh Thani, Sheikh Hamdan's first wife, was the one who told everyone about this meeting when she spoke to Sheikh Muhammad, Sheikh Hamdan's dad. This news has made a lot of people curious and wonder what's going on. The deserts of Uzbekistan are quiet and far away from everything, which is very different from how we usually think of Sheikh Hamdan's life. In this part of the video, we'll look at what we know about this secret meeting. We'll try to understand why it's so interesting and what it could mean for Sheikh Hamdan and the people in his life. It's not often we hear about the private lives of royals like this, so it's pretty exciting. Now, let's talk about what Sheikh Muhammad, Sheikh Hamdan's dad, did after hearing about all these problems. Sheikh Muhammad is a key figure here, and he took action when he found out what was happening. He had a private chat with his son, Sheikh Hamdan. Nobody knows exactly what they talked about, but it was clearly a big deal. After this talk, Sheikh Hamdan, who is usually pretty calm, looked really stressed and upset. This shows that whatever they talked about was serious and important. Let's look at something really interesting that Sheikh Hamdan did. After all the tough talks and big news, he decided to go to the desert. Sheikh Hamdan loves adventures, and this time he chose the desert for some quiet time. Going to the desert is a big deal for him. It shows us that even someone famous like Sheikh Hamdan needs a break from hard times and busy life. The desert is a quiet and big place, perfect for thinking and getting some peace. As we wrap up our deep dive into the latest developments in Sheikh Hamdan's personal life, it's clear that this story is a mix of intrigue, emotion, and unexpected turns. From Sheikh Athani's bold confrontation with Sheikh Muhammad to Sheikh Hamdan's reflective escape to the desert, each step has added more layers to this fascinating narrative. While much remains unknown and speculative, the events we've discussed highlight the complex interplay of personal and familial dynamics in royal life. Sheikh Hamdan's journey, particularly his retreat to the desert, symbolizes a search for peace and clarity amidst life's challenges. We hope you found this exploration informative and engaging. As always, we encourage you to share your thoughts and perspectives in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and ring the bell for more intriguing updates and stories. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the twists and turns of Sheikh Hamdan's life. Stay curious, and we'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care.